Father, thank you that our many sins can be forgiven through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your promise to put our sin behind your back, to bury them in the depth of the sea, and to remove them from us as far as the east from the west. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us from every sin. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Monday. July 31, 2023. What a wonderful God we serve. The end of July. This is Love World, the King You Open Heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia is an heaven language. Alleluia song we never see so amount in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is overcoming lust and temptation. Overcoming lust and temptation. Or I may first I may find the book of First Thessalonians 5, verse 22. I read, Abstain from all appearance of evil. Abstain from all appearance of evil. What is leading you in life? Is it your flesh or the Spirit of God? Whenever you allow the flesh to give you direction, it will always end in regret. But when you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you in all things, you can be sure that all will be well. The first step to overcome lust and temptation is submission to God, which supply the power you need to resist the devil, and it will flee from you according to James 4 verse 7. Moreover, the good news is that the faithfulness of God will not allow his children to be tempted above their ability without making a way of escape from them. In our Bible reading today, we saw that God will not allow us to be tempted beyond that what we can bear and He will always make a way of escape for us. I repeat, God will not allow us to be tempted beyond what we can bear and they will always make a way of escape for us. That is so reassuring. It is for this reason that James 1 verse 2 to 4 and James 1 verse 12 admonish us to count it as joy and blessing. When we are going through the vast temptation, this is because God uses it to perfect the patience of his children. Also, as a promotion exam for them to receive the crown of love. In spite of the assurance, above, however, it for example, your eyes are always glued to seductive image on the television, the internet, and your surroundings. You are merely feeding the lust in your flesh, and such will lead you to hell. Don't fall into it. If you still tolerate ungodly desire to dread and grow in your heart, Heavenly thoughts, divine fashion, and inspiration cannot find expression in you. All believers are required to represent and to present their body as a living sacrifice only, acceptable unto God. Your body is the temple of God, not a show peace for people. If you choose to dress in a way to stay lost from the opposite sex, you can no longer claim to be a child of God, but an instrument in the hand of the devil. Wherever you honor will be appearance. Determine who you truly serve. God has provided us with everything we need to overcome loss. Provided us with everything we need to overcome temptation through Jesus Christ. All we need is to follow him. It's a sample. Hebrew before verse 15 says, Jesus, our high priest, was in all points tempted, but he came over them, all without a sin. 
He has given us the power to resist the devil and to live above lust and temptation. Hallelujah. Brethren, I want us to read the book of 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. And our Bible in one year, Isaiah 57 verse 59. Our hymn is in 23. Take my life and let it be. Take my life and let it be. Our prayer point for today, Father, please empower me to overcome lust and temptation in Jesus' name. Father, please empower me to overcome lust and temptation in Jesus' name. And I pray every will empower you, it will give you the power and energy to overcome lust and temptation in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, this is your vote. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click on the like button, share it with your friends and family, and the goodness of God will never live your life. Have a nice day, and bye for now. God bless you. Happy New Year.